Great to see you. Thanks for having me. I want to get to some of the individual business units, but on the labor front, commodities, supply chain, uh, just give us the lay of the land where you think st things stand right now. Yeah, look, um, it, we had a, gr a very positive quarter in terms of uh, our overall business. We feel like we're making progress executing against the key priorities, including accelerating our digital business and our development pipelines. We saw sequential growth in system-wide sales uh, to 5% compared to 2019, uh, which is an improvement over where we were in Q2. Uh, there are challenges. We called out the, um, the, the challenges we're facing in the Popeye's business in the U.S. that we felt through that throughout the quarter. Uh, we saw an impact in hours of operation and service modes, uh, mostly because of labor uh, shortages. Uh, we also saw an impact uh, on our distribution business in the Northeast, uh, which limited the availability of product uh, to some of our stores in, in the Northeast for Popeyes. So we're certainly dealing with this. I think the entire industry is, is facing challenges as, as it relates to labor shortages, as well as commodity and, and price increases and, and, uh, and inflation overall. Um, we're working closely with our franchise partners uh, with our suppliers. Uh, we're making sure that uh, we always keep the consumer in mind because uh, one of the, the, the dangers of, of this type of inflationary envir environment is getting too far ahead of, of, uh, of the consumer on this front. And so we're staying close to it, working closely with our partners and, and uh, making sure we take care of the guests first and foremost and our team members uh, in the restaurants as well. If there is a wall uh, to the amount of pricing that you can take out, do you think you are getting close? Are you, are you reaching the point where you feel the consumer will balk? Well, look, at this point, we're staying uh, across uh, all three brands. We're, uh, we're in line with inflation, and, and we, we monitor that very closely. Um, we're looking at, um, at, at uh, dining at home or dining at home or food at home inflation, which you see at the supermarkets day in and day out, uh, as well as uh, other inflationary uh, measures that we track. And, and so we're very cautious and careful to, to not get uh, too far ahead of our skis uh, on this. Uh, and we work closely with our franchise partners as well. And, and as I said, we're staying uh, in line at this point with uh, uh, with inflation and, and and continuing to monitor closely. Everybody wants to know about Hortons, mostly because it gives us a lens as to how some of the restrictions in Canada are, are affecting the business. Is there something of, of the major units? Uh, why do you think Hortons is worth paying attention to? Well, Tim Hortons is, uh, is a, a big part of our business. We have uh, four th about 4,000 locations in Canada. Uh, we have one one restaurant in Canada for every uh, 9,000 or so uh, Canadians, so it's a, it's a very penetrated business. Um, we've got uh, over 2,600 locations with drive through so we're, we're clearly the the number one brand in in, the, in that market. And and how we perform there is critical uh, to our long term success. What's uh, what's encouraging is the progress we're making in our business there. We've seen sequential improvements uh, quarter over quarter. Uh, I think what, what folks uh, uh, should understand is that the situation in Canada uh, has been a lot more cautious than what we've seen in the U.S., uh, and, and they've been very focused on, on ensuring uh, that, the, that the pandemic is, uh, is controlled and maintained, and it's especially um, cautious and, and somewhat uh, locked down in city centers and, and downtown corridors where we have a, a big part of our business. We've seen improvements. Our drive-through business is getting back to uh, pre-pandemic levels. Um, our morning day part, uh, our lunch day part, our snacking day part is also getting back to pre-pandemic levels where we see uh, impacts are really in, in uh, dinner and late night. Uh, but the work we're doing on food quality improvements, on digital, on modernizing the brand, uh, on investing in our drive throughs we've seen that really uh, pay dividends and, and drive uh, si uh, significant improvements in the business since, uh, since last year and, and especially quarter over quarter. So we're confident uh, on our back to basics plan and the execution of that. And, and we're encouraged by the progress we're making and, and, and we're not standing still. We're looking to continue to, to, to capture market share and grow uh, in whatever environment we're in.